So laid out here we have all the components in a manual gearbox braking system on a ride on mower. Now this is one of the most common types of braking systems and it's actually attached onto the gearbox or transaxle or whatever you want to call it. So we've got the brake disc which is this one here. We've got the brake caliper which is this one. We've also got two brake pads which are these two. The plate which goes in between the caliper and one of the brake pads and we've got the plate which is what goes on the side of the caliper which is then attached via a rod through all the way to your braking pedal and then obviously these two are bolts and these are what bolt the caliper onto the gearbox. So the picture you can see now is basically showing you it complete on the gearbox but I'm actually going to show you now how to build one of these things up. I'm not going to show you how to attach it to the gearbox. I've actually got another video for that if you search my channel. Um, but I'm going to show you how the whole thing pieces together. So we start off with the brake disc, which is what the brake pads push against. So that would be attached to the gearbox, like this, onto a spline. Um, and that goes against a brake pad, which would sit just behind it. So that actually sits at the bottom of the brake pad behind it. You then have another brake pad. This is the second brake pad, and this would sit on the front of it. So when you put your foot on the pedal, it'd actually be pushing these two brake pads together and sandwiching that brake disc, and that is what would slow you down and eventually stop you on your ride on mower. So you need something to push against these brake pads to give even coverage, otherwise it would unevenly wear the brake pad. And you can see where the disc has run round it because the part which hasn't is sticking up in the corner and you can see that that's not actually worn off yet. Okay so moving on to the brake caliper now. So you can see that there are two holes in the middle of this brake caliper and these are for these studs. Now there should be two, I've only got one unfortunately because one has been misplaced but these just slot in here and the way these things work is the plate sits on that bolt there and when you put your foot on the pedal, the brake pedal, it then pushes that plate and it will push one, both of these studs out and inside the caliper there is a piece of metal. And this piece of metal sits in there behind the studs and then one of your brake pads goes on top of the piece of metal. So then you would have your brake disc and that brake pad would be there your brake disc would be there and then finally against the main gearbox you would have your final brake pad and so when you put your foot on the brake then you'd push the plate forwards it would push the two studs out putting this brake pad against the brake disc obviously this one would always be against the brake disc and it would then sandwich the brake disc and you would brake now it is quite hard to understand this when I'm not showing you on the actual machine. Um, it's just I, won't, I wouldn't be able to do this underneath the machine because it probably would be too dark. Um, but that is the basic idea of these gearboxes and the braking systems on them. They're very simple, they're a lot more simple than cars. Um, but they're quite similar in the idea to cars, it's just a lot more simple version. So then that whole assembly including this in, on that bolt there behind the nuts you would then bolt that whole assembly onto the side of your gearbox attach the linkage which runs to your pedal and then that is basically how your gearbox braking system would work on a manual ride on mower